Hi all, today let us see how to prepare labeled data sets for image classification problems. So the first step is actually to download images. Uh, let's say there are two ways of achieving that. One is manually going to Google website and searching for the concerned images which we are looking for and saving them to the corresponding folders. Or we could make use of uh, the beautiful soup library where we can pass a URL and pass our search terms. So let us see how to do that in this particular example. So the first step, I am uh, importing the necessary libraries where beautiful soup is the primary one I'll be looking at. And then I'm uh, passing few parameters. So parameters essentially are the key term or the search term which I'll be using to hit against the Google search URL. So uh, I'm searching for the uh, chest pan term and source ID is the Chrome. Basically, I'm uh, asking to pick the Chrome browser as the default one to uh, query my search term. And the URL which I'm passing is the google.com slash search to return back the images. So then making use of uh, soup, what we are essentially doing is among the search results which are coming, we are picking up only the images which are of the format JPEGs. And these images which are getting matched, I'm storing them in my uh, folder in my collab environment. As you can see here, the final image dot save. So uh, as seen here, uh, for the chest pan images, there are about five images which have been downloaded. So this way, for each of the uh, query term which we are passing, we can create the folder for that particular label and download the images. So let's assume that we had downloaded the images and uh, kept them for a different chess pieces. For example, bishop, king, knight, pawn, queen, rook, etc. So the next step is, uh as as we as we had uh, as i had mentioned earlier this specific task is to create the csv files with the image paths for the uh, which could be used to input the data sets into the uh, coding environment for the image classification problems so instead of manually going into each of these folders and storing uh, each of the image paths what we can do is we could make use of uh, command prompt and uh, go to the specified folder uh, where we are, where currently all the images are residing. For example, in my uh, local path, currently uh, this is the path in which the images are present. For example, within Bishop, so these are all the images. So what I can do is I can use make use of this command directory uh, dir uh, slash s slash p and I'm saving it to a CSV file. So what essentially this particular command does is for all the files which are present in that particular folder, the paths are appended one below the other in this particular file. So as seen here, this particular list file got created. And when I'm opening it, it corresponds to the each of the file path which are present in that particular folder. So now using this paths, creating a labeled data is a kind of straightforward. So uh, this is how we can prepare it. I mean, we can have the file path and the corresponding label for each of the folder which we have saved. So in this way, we can actually uh, see how we can create a label data for the images which are downloaded. And as you can see, there is an uh, image embedding over here where I'm using it by uh, pointing to each of these paths. The I'm getting a preview image of that particular file. So uh, this is something which can be used to look at the sharpness of each of the images which is downloaded instead of manually going to each of the folders, double clicking it and opening the file. So to uh, achieve this thing, we had used a couple of uh, macro codes, which I'll be showcasing now. So the first step is actually to create a space for the image to get displayed. So let me go to developer tab, go to design mode and insert an image active x control and select the area on which the image has to be displayed we need to create a name for this particular image embedding which we have created here let me save it as chess image so for this let me quickly go to view code so this is the two lines of code which we had written Essentially, what we are doing is for any change in the sheet on which this particular macro is running, the macro has to run. So what we are doing is we are specifying the image path 
essentially to whatever row I am targeting that particular rows third column value has to be saved as the path in image which I am specifying as a string and that particular path is used to load uh, using the function load picture we are passing the path to open the uh, that particular uh, file which has that path also we are checking one condition whether that particular path uh, is either empty or any file is present instead of a path and uh, which we have uh, we have to make a note that this particular place active sheet here is the place where we will be pressing where we will be inputting the embedding name which we had given for example in as you had remember uh, as you could recollect we had used chess image as a name so once I have saved it so what happens now is exit the design mode and now point to any of the paths as you can see the images get displayed so in this way we can uh, make use of a mix of Excel command prompts to prepare the uh, image data sets for our classification problems and also we can use of macro command to have a view of each of the files which are getting displayed instead of manually going to each folder and opening the file thank you